Hello again, this is 3D Modeler on YouTube. And in the previous video, I promised you to show you the Boolean tool. And as told before, the Boolean tool allows you to cut an object with another object. And I'll show you right now how this is done. I'll select my box and I'll go to the creation panel here. And in the drop down menu, it says standard primitives. Now I'll drop, uh, press this drop down menu and I'll select a compound object from the menu. Keep in mind the box is selected. If you have nothing selected, you won't have uh, the button highlighted this well. So you need to select an object you want to have this Boolean effect applied to. I select Boolean. And now the Boolean effects effect is applied to the box. And I need to select the other object that will uh, have a interaction with my box. In this case, the sphere. And I select the sphere. Um, and as you can see, the box disappears, but it cuts a sh the shape of the box and how the box uh, covered the the sphere before. Um, and I'll just uh, go down here to cut the sphere out of the box. Now we have these uh, operations here. One says union. This will um, merge the two objects together and cut everything in between those objects away. As you can see from the inside, uh, the walls are removed where those were intersecting. We can also uh, select intersect. This will only create an object from what was intersecting. We can subtract A from B. We can do the vice versa. S uh, subtract the box from the sphere. And we can use the cut tool. In this case, remove outside. We can remove inside. That's what covers the, the box. We can do a split. This will uh, create vectors along the path of the sphere. And we can do, uh, do the refine. This will also do the same. Create a vert verts on the box where the, th the sphere was intersecting it. In this uh, small tutorial here, we'll use the subtract tool and subtract the sphere from the box. Now, in order for us to make this an edible poly, we need to right-click the object and select Convert to Edible Poly. As you can see on the right-hand corner, uh, on the right side here, the tools for the intersection and the Boolean uh, tool is, uh, is gone away. Don't worry, they will still be available in the Modifiers panel when you press that one, and you'll see we have the exact same setup here. And this will uh, be the same for almost every effect you apply to an object. You will have those the, the instant you create an object, but if you deselect the object, you'll have to go to the Modifiers panel with the object selected to get this drop-down menu here. So we'll create an edible poly, right-click the object, convert to edible poly. Now, I'll select the edit vertices, and you can see here that where those were intersecting it, it will highlight the the cutting edge of the sphere. So this basically wraps up uh, what uh, and how Sorry, this covers up how you use uh, the Boolean tool. Be aware that s in some cases you will have too many vertices and you'll have to do a lot of cleaning with this tool. So use this uh, partially or very sparse because it can mess up a lot of um, lot of work that you have done uh, cleaning up anything else uh, before. I've used this on occasions, but I find myself having to clean up a lot afterwards. So use this with care. So this uh, wraps up a uh, Boolean tool in 3ds Max. I'm 3D Modeler on YouTube. Thanks for watching.